Hello again, everybody. This is Elvis the Pelvis Pressing Seal, and here I am today to make another recipe for you. Ha ha ha! I fool you! Well, now if we got that out of the way, let's get to this recipe. Today we're here to make Peruvian beef cadillo. I learned this recipe. A guy gave it to me on a card from a place. It's called the Mead Carcel. The guy's actually Peruvian, and he lived over there for 40-some years and was a cook over there. And I really enjoyed the food he cooked me. So this is just a simple recipe he gave me. I'm cooking a half-size amount today because we're on a low-carb diet. But I'll give you the ingredients as full-size when I read it to you. We got some cut-up sirloin steak. I got a diced onion. Diced potato. A can of Rotel diced green tomatoes and chilies. Chili powder. Salt. Tropical Cezanne, pepper, soy sauce, minced garlic, red wine vinegar, ground cumin, cilantro leaves, or you can use fresh cilantro, it's even better, and beef broth. Okay, we went to a little town a few years ago. Uh, there's no Home Depots around here, and I wanted to buy some Ryobi tools. And we stopped at a Mexican restaurant up there, and they had Peruvian dishes. And I've always wanted to try Peruvian food, so I ordered something off there. A steak dinner and it came out with delicious food uh, they gave me a steak they gave me fri fried potatoes they gave me fried plantains they gave me black beans they gave me rice with an over easy egg on it i didn't know all this came with it i asked the waiter i said is that what's supposed to come with me he goes yeah that's traditional peruvian food he said you're eating an afternoon meal uh let's see that's called a Almorezo. He said people take a siesta afterwards, like in Mexico. They eat a small meal in the morning and a big meal at lunch and a small meal in the evening. So he went and got the cook, and the cook came out, an older gentleman, and he gave me this recipe. We're getting ready to cook for you, and he told me all about the different things they do up there. And this this is just one variation on this. You can add or subtract to it, and I'll tell you more about that while we're cooking. Okay, I've added two tablespoons of olive oil to my wok. He said you use corn oil. That's traditional down there because corn's one of their big things. Corn and potatoes. But I like using olive oil. We're going to cook this until it's almost done. Almost all the way brown. And then I'm going to remove it from the heat, making sure I leave the beef paste in there. And we'll come back and add our other ingredients. Okay, our steak is now cooked and I'm removing it from the heat. Okay, now I'm adding in my chopped onion. I had to add a little more grease to the skillet. That steak didn't have a lot of fat in it, so it didn't leave a lot of natural grease in the skillet. We're going to get this going. Give it just a minute to cook, and then I'm going to add in my minced garlic. The full amount in the ingredients, one tablespoon. I'm using a teaspoon, but i got a heaping teaspoon. I really like the flavor of garlic, so... in there with the onion. And we'll let that go for a couple, three more minutes. And now it's all good and caramelized. You can see that down there in my wok. And now we're going to start adding our other ingredients. Here I've got beef broth. We're going to add a can of Rotel. And food makes his presence known as always. We're going to put in our salt, our pepper, cumin, chili powder, Cezanne, I got, like I said, I have the tropical Cezanne. I like it a little better than I do the other one. And we're going to add in our soy sauce. I'm using low sodium because of, I have to be careful on my salt. And red wine vinegar. We got all that going in there. We're going to let all those flavors marry together for a few minutes. We're going to turn the heat up and bring it to a low boil. 
Okay, at this point, we're going to add our beef back in. There goes all that steak. Got our potatoes diced, small cubes. Work them down in there. And since I don't have flesh cilantro today, I'm using dried cilantro. And if you're using the dried, you go ahead and put it in now. Whereas if you're using the fresh, you're going to add it at the end. At this point, the chef, the guy cook, told me that you could add in peas, you could add in corn. Corn was one of his favorites. Corn's really big down there in Peru. And the more things you add, the more stew-like it becomes. The less things you add, the more soup-like it comes. Now, the one ingredient I don't have that we've tried to get before that I would like to try is called ahi amarillo sauce. If you look online, there's three or four different recipes for it. But they grow a pepper down there called an ahi pepper. And it's got a unique flavor that he let me taste when we were at the restaurant. Uh, it's a pepper and it's kind of hot. It's not super hot. It's kind of hot. But it also has a fruity quality to it when you taste it. And he uses it in a lot of his dishes there at the restaurant. If you ever come across the restaurant called the Sea Corcel, stop in. They still have, he's still there evidently. And they still have the Peruvian menu on the restaurant. So we've got that at a low boil. We're going to let it come back to a boil. And we're going to let it go 10 to 12 minutes and test the potatoes and see if they're getting tender. And there we go. There's our beef cadillo. I had to cook it about 10 minutes longer. I used a russet potato. Like I said, I cut the potato amount in half on the recipe for us. But I used a russet potato and Yukon Golds work better and they cook a little faster. So we'll be right back and I'll dish this up for you. And here we have a bowl of rice cauliflower with a few mixed vegetables. This is traditionally served over rice. But since we're on the low-carb diet, I'm trying to do the cauliflower. And there's our cadillo, already cooked and ready to serve. Put a couple of nice big spoonfuls over our fake rice. And there you have it. Beef cadillo, Peruvian style. My wife will end up putting the uh, ingredients at the end of the video and a link to get to the Amhi Alarillo sauce if you'd like to learn how to make that. Spice up life. It's short. Try something different. Like I said, he said you could add corn to this. You could add peas to this. You could make it hotter with hotter peppers or more sauce or less. Try it once my way and then make it the way you like it. That's what we do. Thanks, thanks for watching. If you like, uh, subscribe to our channel, Psychic Scorpions.